Do you know about any aphrodisiac food? First of all, that word is just like really long. <laughs> Afro what? No, I let's just say no. Afro Hi, my name is Nova Amandla. I'm an artist, actress, and model, and you are watching Not So Secret. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you had a past life? Um, yes. Very strange. I do feel like I have a past life. Okay, basically, I believe that when God created us, we have like, you know, like a person that God created you to be who's like in heaven and then there's you here. So I also do feel like, I mean, like sort of like reincarnated in somebody else's life because I think too much for my age. <laughs> <laughs> makes you feel old sometimes so I feel like I had a past life definitely if you could go anywhere right now where would you go the UK because I miss my dad so I would definitely go there <laughs> like right now a hug from him would mean a lot it's been a long long time since I saw my dad and this whole COVID thing is really not making it easy to see him so yeah I would go there what's the funniest thing you've ever overheard <laughs> I bet you he's gonna kill me so um okay we were in a bus and we were going to the mall to watch a movie and then we were overhearing this <laughs> conversation about how this woman you know got stood up by a blesser she dressed up she didn't have money and she was so confident that she's gonna have a good time and then he turned off his phone so for me it was a bit hilarious like Okay, the way she explained it made me just laugh. I don't know. I guess it was just her accent or something. She just made this whole story so dramatic. So, yeah. What fictional character um, do you wish was your best friend? Mm, fictional character. I would say Thor. Firstly, because it's hot. Also, I have a thing for hammers. <laughs> Okay, that's a lie. <laughs> but I think Thor is like really, really cool. So yeah, definitely. And I would turn a lot of heads if I was walking in the streets with Thor. <laughs> How do you like to be treated when you're sick? Do you like to be waited on hand and foot or left alone? Hmm, it depends. Let's say if I'm like, you know, having cramps, I it, I don't know, it, like I'm really homono in that period. Sometimes I want people around, sometimes I don't want people around. But I guess a little bit of both, I'm like, yeah, there's a thin line. Sometimes I want people around, sometimes I don't want people around. So I don't know, it's hard to tell. It just depends with the sickness I have. Are you actively pursuing your dreams? Yes. 400% or 1000% yes I am doing everything I can to pursue all of my dreams from acting from singing from writing from dancing which psh, no I don't want to be a professional dancer but it's one of those things I do but yeah I am actively pursuing all of my dreams currently what do you, what do you like the least about technology um I hate the fact that there are people who can actually hack into your system, your phone, your... Like, I just don't like that. In as much as it's safe, it's not so safe, so I really don't like that about technology. Also, I don't like how needy it makes you feel like if you don't have bundles, you just feel like you're really disconnected from the whole world, especially when you don't have friends in real life. So, yeah, I don't like that about technology. It's just like taking away physical time that people have to actually like make friends in real life so i don't like that do you like hugs this question should have been do you love hugs i am a very cuddly person i like hugs i love hugs i love to hug people i don't know like i'll hug you randomly for no reason and also if you're very <laughs> yes <laughs> come over here yeah you know if i was like in motor combat you know some people say get over here but, you know, hug you to death if I was in Monaco. but I do love hugs I guess you get the gist 
do you know about any aphrodisiac food first of all that word is just like really long <laughs> afro what no i let's just say no I'm, yeah i do not know any i probably have had it didn't even know what it was so let's just say no nah have you ever had a deja vu yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah I have this one time I was sleeping and I so my whole day like how I was going to meet somebody what I was going to tell them and where I was gonna meet them what they were going to wear and I was just like yeah it's a dream I dream a lot you know they do say dreams are like conversations between you and God but I was just like ah what's the possibility that's gonna happen and it did happen like it was very precise now it made me feel like was that really a deja vu or was just like god trying to tell me something but it happened and it was freaky when it happened i was like okay should i stop sleeping because this is awkward <laughs> what road trip would you love to take i would love to travel to europe with my best friend or go to like hawaii you know the bahamas or go to egypt or israel yeah i want to go to like places that have a lot of nature first and then not just explore europe and you know just yeah eat food probably those aphrodisiac food stuff if i know what that is at that time <laughs> okay so um do you have plans this weekend yeah uh well yes um, no, so I don't know if those plans are gonna happen, but uh, come see, come see. <laughs> if you could be born in a different decade, what decade would you choose? I think I would pick the 70s, 80s. They had a vibe, you know, it was a vibe, especially because of their fashion. I mean, I mean, <laughs> those pixie wigs, though. <laughs> Yeah, so 70s, 80s there, yeah, I'd love to be born in that decade, it just, it's just vintage. <laughs> when are you the happiest? When I'm eating good food. Okay, when I'm eating food in general, I just love food. And also, if I am in the studio and the band or the producer just does an amazing beat or they just play something so cool, I'm super happy, like, I'm like a raccoon high on coffee at that moment. <laughs> what is the best way to wake up? I don't know about the best way to wake up, like, people, do people actually plan how they're going to wake up? I don't know, I just wake up, as long as I don't wake up with like a migraine, or I'm feeling like I really didn't sleep enough, for me I think that's the best way. I mean, I've been like, no, sunset, whatever, brah. My view is like a mango tree, so however I wake up, as long as I don't have a headache, I'm good. <laughs> what do you like the most about yourself? Hmm. My personality, I think I'm very easy to talk to. Also, I can be very, very bubbly. Okay, yeah, if you know me, I'm bubbly, but if you don't know me, I am very awkward you think i'm rude so i love that i easily talk to people yeah i'm a peacemaker <laughs> have you tried to invent something no mm -mm. no i just feel like they can blow up in my face yeah so no inventing around here what are you afraid of um, tiny things that can grow in my ears doesn't matter what it is you can find itself in any part of my body inside my ears or my nose I don't like that also real life I am afraid of dying broke or you know just you die you are never rich just struggling mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't mind being single but it's like a good money 
What is the best present you've ever received? Um, best present I ever received was a handwritten letter from my baby sister. It had so much glitter. And also because it was the first time she was learning to write, so it meant a lot to me. And I still have it to date. So, yeah, for me, that's the ish. <laughs> Would you rather give up makeup or have to wear it all day, every day? I would I'd rather give it up. I don't like wearing makeup all the time. So I'd rather give it up. Yeah. So I guess that's pretty much it. My secrets are not so secret anymore. Thank you guys for watching. That's a secret. And enjoy the rest of your day.